G'day guys, Grubby Trev back again with another review. Yeah, today, you guessed it, we've got a charger to review. This one's a new one from Sky RC, the B6 Nano Charger. Uh, look, it's really, really tiny. It's going to be pretty good for those guys that want to charge out in the field. So what we'll do without any more stuff around, we'll work it on the bench, have a quick look and uh, see what you think. We're not going to do an unboxing, but what you can see there is what you get in the box. You get a car, you get instructions and you get a charger. So what we'll do, we'll plug this thing in. Okay, it's pretty straightforward to use. Your middle button is your selection button. Up and down arrows, select which battery you want. So we'll select LiPo here. They're just touch buttons too, by the way. They're not push buttons. There's your cells. So we've got a uh, four cell battery. So we'll select four cells. Going to do a balanced charge, a charging current. We'll charge it at one amp, so it's set for one amp. Hold the button down. And now we're charging. So it's pretty straightforward. So what we'll do now, we'll connect the app. It's looking for a charger. Connect to our Bluetooth. Now you can set up a password. Probably recommended if you're out flying with someone you don't know. We'll just ignore that for the time being. Now have your battery menu. This is set up for different charges as well. But we're just using channel A here. Left hand column is your LiPo, you can select other batteries just by slowing it up and down. So we'll select LiPo, 4 cell, we'll have a balanced charge, next, select the current we want to run, so we'll just run this at 1 amp, select next, makes a bit of a noise and we're off and charging and all your readouts on the screen. So you can walk away from your battery and it's still charging and you can watch it on your phone. That is pretty cool. Well guys, look, Sky RC have done a great job of this thing. It's compact, easy to use, and not bad value for money for something this size. Uh, 60 bucks US, about $70 Australian. A recommended battery for this thing is probably a uh, 3-4S um, 10,000 amp hour battery or milliamp hour battery. I'll leave a link below where you can get one of those. Uh, if you're after one of these, I'll leave a link down below also. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. If you don't, stiff shit. Catch you later.